Hello everyone. From the three songs that I have picked out for today for us to play it together here, they all have something in common. The lowest note in the melody in each one of them is the root note of the key, the key that, that we're in. We're gonna, two of them are going to be in D, so D will be the lowest note of the melody. One of them will be in C, and C will be the lowest note of the, of the melody. Uh, the, the two in D, which uh, hard times come again no more. Uh, yeah, actually, hard, hard times come come again when, 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 no more is the, fir the first one we'll do. Uh, the melody for the verses goes no higher than a B note, the sixth note of the scale. So there's just six notes to grab in the melody. And yeah, uh, the thing about the chord progression here, the main thing to catch is, uh, is the split measures. There's a, uh, a one to a four at the end of lines one and three. And there's a split between a, between a one and a five in the second and fourth lines. And most of the rest of it is fairly straightforward. And the chorus and the verse progressions are not exactly the same as each other either.
troubled way, tis a whale that is heard upon the shore. Tis a dirge that is murmured around the lowly grave. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song, the sigh of the Around my cabin door All hard times come again no more Okay, down to C for the next one Key of C, C is in Charlie The Lone Pilgrim uh, Another slow song Like the last one uh, It would be the same as the Foggy Mountain Top Or Amazing Grace chord progression Except for one thing that in the spots where you would normally have the a full, whole measure of the four chord, we end up with a split between the four and the five. So like, for instance, line one works like this. Instead of, uh, instead of one, one, four, one, you get this. Okay, so this, the four and the five split, that's the only thing that's a little bit uh, different. Uh, from what one might expect here in the chord progression of, of the song. Uh, on banjo, I'm going to suggest C tuning, just to lower your fourth string down to a C. That way you can grab all your melody notes all the way from the C, low C, all the way up to the, the high E there, very easily within your first few frets. And only two pickup notes to get into it instead of the usual three.
sang to the tune. My soul flew to mansions on in the snow and if you drop down to C tuning on that last one on the banjo may as well just stay there and C tuning and cable yourself up to D uh, second fret and you'll be all set for the melody has the same range for this last song as as the other one and we got footprints in the snow key of D D as in dog the verses and the breaks the chord the progression there is almost the same as that for Wabash Cannonball Except that the last line is 5511 instead of in Wabash Cannonball, it's 55511. And then the choruses, the second half of the chorus is the same progression as the second half of the verse, but the first half of the chorus goes 1155, 5511. Here we go Footprints in the Snow. Snow falls and brings back memories. Oh, 
storm thunder when the snow was on the ground. I traced the little footprints in the snow. I found the little footprints in the snow. Lord, God bless that happy day when Nellie lost her way. I found her when the snow was on the ground. Keep picking everyone and keep safe and well.